Aftermath is the perfect structure, color, and size. He's literally one in a million dogs. This dog is a walking work of art. That's why his puppies sell for $10,000 and up. We are just on our way to see one of our litters. Hey guys. This is Aftermath, he's four years old. Uh, he's our baby and uh, he's a legend. Aftermath, he was born a singleton, which means he was the only puppy born in the litter. He's strictly one of a kind. He's he carries the Merle gene, the Tri gene, and uh, he he can produce any color. A Merle dog is a dog that carries a genetic mutation a gene, which it allows the coat color. It doesn't know what it wants to be, so it's always different colors. It's never the same pattern. Um, it's what allows him to create the color he is and how he can produce his offspring. With the Merle gene, you should never breed two Merles together. It, uh, it can be highly lethal and cause defects. We were, uh, we were the first ones to ever take a standard Merle and breed it to a double XL bully and we created him and he was the only one born and he was one of a kind and as soon as we got him out of the c-section and posted the picture people were already offering us thirty thousand dollars for him so we knew we had done something right and that he uh, that he would make uh, himself a name and a legend and he sure did that when we first did the breeding uh, merle was not popular at all lots of people were against it but we got a lot of hate on We got lots of hate from other kennels. From like people. almost every major kennel yeah. uh, bashed us and threw us under the bus. And now almost every kennel I can Breeds think them. of is now breeding Merle in their program. Some of his photos have been shared over like a million times on Instagram. He's produced huge 15 pup litters. His semen has been uh, frozen and transported all over the world. His puppies sell for $10,000 and up. Nope, sit. Boy. Today we got uh, offspring with Aftermath. They're all his daughters. They're all different colors. This is uh, Glacier. She's an Aftermath daughter. She's sitting around 110 pounds. She's got Glacier blue eyes. This is, uh, this is MBB Moonrock. She's also an Aftermath daughter. She's a tri-carrier as well. She's easily 120 pounds, just solid muscle. Uh, she's definitely one of Aftermath's top daughters. So this is Miss 100K. She's also an Aftermath daughter. And this is uh, MBB's Nutella. This is Sultan. He's our up and coming stud. He's uh, probably the best dog we've ever produced in our lives. He's only a year old. He's over 160 pounds. He's 22 inches tall. He's got a 28 inch head. He's just an absolute giant. We always feed after after our walk so our dogs don't gain bloat or anything like that. Our big males will eat a full chicken about three times a week. We go through three quarters to a bag of dog food a day. Okay, yeah, so on a, in an average year we spend about $15,000 in dog food. We are just on our way to see one of our litters that uh, with one of our Tonka females. She's off of Tonka and Treasure. This is the fifth generation of Megabolt Bullies, the blood in these pups, and they're very special to us. We only have a few litters a year. It uh, really all depends on how many puppies are born in each litter because we don't have any control over that. Hey guys. Hungry. Five generations of MBB right here. Very exclusive, special litter. And very rare that you get this many Merles in one litter too. One female and eight males. Seven Merles and two solids. 
Yeah, they're all beasts, no runs. Look at them. All very consistent with litter. And we already have our one keeper, and that's Ruby. She's right there. She's four weeks now. She's worth that, 30 US at least. Being fifth generation makes these pu puppies so special. Uh, it takes quite a while to get into five generations. So with their blood and their pedigree, the parents that are on both sides of the ped are produced by us, and that takes a good seven years to make that claim. We're, we're creating a specific look, and we're always keeping a puppy from each litter. We don't breed just to breed. Aftermath, he's literally one in a million dog. He looks like a snow leopard. <laughs> he got real life walking street legal snow leopard. He's got, uh, he's majestic. He's got the sweetest temperament. He literally stops traffic. Aftermath pretty much made our name worldwide. He literally changed our lives forever. He helped us get everything we have now today.